All right, this one is, am I the asshole for not telling my family where I live? I'm going to say no. <laughs> I'm going to say no. Backstory. I, 34 female, have been married to my husband, 36 male, for almost 14 years. I have a son from a previous relationship. He turned 14 this year. My husband has been in his life since he was six months old. We also share an 11-year-old daughter together. So my ex, who is my son's biological father, is not a good guy. He is mean. There were more times than I can count that he was horrible towards me. It was so scary to the point where I could have possibly not made it out of the relationship. So I went to court and got a protection order the judge made at lifetime. Well, my ex got into more trouble with the law. So I got his parental rights terminated. Oh! My husband adopted my son. My son was four at that time. Every year he has found out where I lived. He has constantly tried to message me and he's been charged multiple times for violating the protection order. But that last time, he took it too far. He showed up where I live, my husband was at work, thankfully both my kids were at school. My neighbor called the police, he was arrested and the court proceedings started. My husband got an amazing job opportunity across the nation, so we moved more than 1800 miles away. Thankfully the court allows me to attend over video, so anyway, I told my family I was not going to be telling anyone where we are until court is done. And it's been more than a year and it's nowhere near being done. They have called me horrible names, they said I'm selfish for not telling them where I went. I've told them multiple times that they live in a town where a lot of people know my ex and for the safety of my family, I wasn't going to tell anyone until I know we are safe. I've told them multiple times that I don't think that they will go and tell my ex, but they have a habit of telling people where I live and that gets back to my ex. I have told them I know they don't have any ill intent, but they just don't seem to understand. They have promised me they won't tell anyone, but they already broken three promises of telling people where I was, so I unfortunately cannot trust that. Again, I'm not saying my family has any bad intentions when they're telling people, but I just can't risk the fact that he found me because they told people where I was. So am I the asshole for not telling them? I'm gonna say no. Yeah, absolutely not. OP has offered the following explanation as to why they think they might be the asshole. Because I should be able to trust my family, I shouldn't have to hide things from my family, and I'm not wanting them to know the truth. No, not the asshole. They've already broken three promises of telling people where I was. Not the asshole. This is absolutely wild. They clearly don't take your safety or the safety of your family seriously. No, they do not, dude. No, they do not. Oh, this one is ult uh, poo mode activated. All right, let's see. This is, am I the asshole for not letting my boyfriend grieve? Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even right off the title. Yeah. <laughs> Backstory, my boyfriend's grandpa passed away four days ago. When he passed, we met all of his family at a small ER to say our goodbyes. The, the ER made everyone wear masks due to sickness going around the hospital. So two days ago, I started to feel really bad body aches, sore throat, etc. Keep in mind, I'm 18 weeks pregnant. I told- where did you say you were pregnant before? Okay, keep in mind, I'm 18 weeks pregnant. I told him how I felt and he basically said he doesn't want to get sick because his grandpa's funeral is coming up. I told him I was feeling weak as well as hungry and didn't want to drive myself home then be hungry once I got there. I asked him if he was okay with helping me for the night and I'll leave him in the morning. Basically just bring me some food to the room so I wouldn't contaminate any other areas of the house. He told me he had a lot in his mind and wasn't in the right headspace to help me so I told him I understand and left. When I got home, I made something small to eat, then went to sleep. Yesterday morning, he calls and checks on me. I tell him how I feel more sick than when I left. He just says, okay. The rest of the day, he has family over until about 3 a.m., just offering their condolences and keeping his family company. Around 4 p.m., I called and asked him to help to see if he could bring me something to eat because all I had the strength to get myself was just snacks like chips, cereal. No real meals, and I wanted to make sure I had enough in me for the baby. He basically brushed me off saying he has no idea how he could help and said I was selfish for not thinking about him grieving and how he was stressed and had a million things on his mind. He also told me that I was being evil because I said he wasn't helping me at all. After that, I just hung up. He called me at 3am when everyone left to sleep on the phone with me but hung up 20 minutes later after he said he'd call back and did it. Now I don't want to speak to him at all, but don't want to cause him any more stress when he's already sad about his grandpa. I want to know if I'm an asshole for not respecting him, or I want to know if I'm the asshole for not respecting his time for grieving. Also, would I be an asshole for not talking to him today? 
I know how it feels to lose your grandpa when you're so close with him. But at the same time, I just asked for a little bit of help and don't feel like I was asking him for a lot. Most medications you can't take during pregnancy because they have bad side effects for the fetus. So I've just been waiting it out and he knows that as well. Update. It's been decided I am the asshole and that is fine. <laughs> He's the asshole. This is a very unfortunate series of events, but she is being an asshole. Not a huge one, though. Like, she is being a little petty, but like, um, yeah, she is kind of being an asshole. Yeah, she is being an asshole. <laughs> Update, it has been decided I am the asshole and that is fine. But the ones wondering about DoorDash and other options, I recently just paid my bills and I made groceries for his place since I would be there with him during this time. So unfortunately, I cannot afford DoorDash at the moment, but that would have been my first option. I didn't bring any food with me because all the groceries really have to be cooked besides snacks. Also, I know he is grieving and wouldn't have never said anything, but if he was okay enough to do favors for others yesterday, he could have picked up some food and left it at my doorstep. Didn't even have to come inside. Also, I have family and friends, but getting them to do things for me is a bit of a challenge, and I learned a while ago to stop asking. It's really just me and him caring for one another, but after reading some of your comments, I understand how I came off as needy. Thank you for your responses. Edit. To speak to my family every day, we are close in that way. I see them every week as well. Uh, no bad blood between us. My friends don't live close to me to where it's easy to just drop off food and go. My parents, on the other hand, do. But now that I'm an adult and since my siblings have had children, my parents tend to them. I have two siblings who aren't in their kids' lives at the moment due to their own faults, so my parents stepped in. When I ask for help where they have to physically do something since I was a kid, it was always, I'm tired, this, or I, I don't feel like going here, that. But when they ask me, they feel like I'm just supposed to do whatever it is they ask. So yeah, I never call Amanda. I call on my boyfriend. We've been together three years. Not all assholes stink equally. <laughs> yeah. This one's wild. Am I the asshole for telling a guy to stop fetishizing my ethnicity? I'm gonna say no. But what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? When does this come up in conversation? I'm gonna say no, but I'm- this is sus. Hi, so I'm 15 female. Oh god. Oh, you might want to get off Reddit. <laughs> you might want to get off the internet. Child. You're a child. <laughs> Hi, so I'm 15 female and have been talking to this guy Jaden, male 16. He's overall an okay guy, he's nice and hasn't ever been rude up until now? So recently Jaden asked me what my race ethnicity is, which is a question I get a lot because everyone always has different ideas and opinions on it. Well, I'm Japanese, Hispanic, Mexican, mix. I told him that, but all he focused on was me being Hispanic. To be clear, I told him I was Hispanic first, right when I was about to tell him I'm also Japanese. He interrupted me with a weird cut in and asked half, and you're half Mexican? I said yes, and he replied with perfect. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought was weird, but at the time I didn't I didn't think to question him about it. What so fast forward two months later, he's like obsessed with my ethnicity, with me being Hispanic. Like he'll constantly recommend me to dress more in those Hispanic cowgirls. <laughs> Which, for the record, I'm a question in the Western disciplines. I have to anyway, but I found it weird he was asking because he wasn't aware of my sport. Or tells me I'm cute when I act like a chola. What the f I can't. This is... No. <laughs> in general, he'll constantly bring up my ethnicity. You're my cute Hispanic girl. Yes. Oh my god. This is too much. Or, you know, I've always wanted a Hispanic girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? But eventually last night while we were texting, I got so tired of it and weirded out because he commented on how I have the perfect Hispanic girl. I feel like I need to call the cops. They are both children. Who's your parents? I need to tell your I need to tell your parents on you. Like, oh my god. So I straight up just told him, stop fetishizing me. It's a weird dude. And he didn't respond for a while. But then he just called me a bitch and asshole for what I said to him. Of course he would. Of course. Let me guess. He listens to Drake. Oh my god. And telling me he's not fetishizing me. But what do you mean? Yeah. 
don't know if it's because I've been overthinking and analyze everything that I may have looked into. No, you what do you mean? Did I to look into these comments the wrong way? Oh my god, I can't. This is too much. OP has offered the following explanation for why they think that might be the asshole. Calling a guy out for fetishizing my ethnicity. I may have looked too deep into his comments that made me think he's no no all right our last one is am i the asshole for excluding my obese friend from rock climbing what the fuck yes i'm gonna say yes what the fuck what the fuck there's this new rock climbing center that just opened up at the mall my 17 female group of eight friends were in town when i suggested we go try it however when we got there one of my friends was pulled aside and told to weigh herself she's technically obese and they told her that she couldn't participate since she weighed too much for the harness she was extremely upset by this and started crying. She then asked the rest of us if we could do something else instead. However, everyone else really wanted to try rock climbing, and we didn't want to miss a bout because of one person. I said we could hang out with her after we finished, but she just went straight home. The next day, she texted us saying we were fake friends for abandoning her and making her feel excluded for her weight. She said I was selfish for even suggesting rock climbing without considering her weight, because I'd assumed that she weighed enough for the I told her that it wasn't our fault that she wasn't allowed in, but she said the rest of us should have stood by her. Am I the asshole? I I don't think you guys should be friends. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say yes because like okay, the friend reacting in that way saying that like you should have known, that's where it's like, oh crap. But like overall, I just feel like I don't I don't feel like it's right for whatever a friend doesn't misses out on an activity, you know? It's unfortunate, but no. I mean, that, like, you can go rock climbing another day then. Like, you can just, like, if you guys, like, you guys can just go do something else that day. You can go rock climbing a different day. You're gonna go with no, I'm sticking with yes. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with yes. Not their fault. It's not their fault. I just feel like it sucks to be unable to do something. I get that it's, like, a new place, but, I mean, it's just... Who knows what other things they're gonna end up excluding them from, you know? I feel like you shouldn't be limited to not do something either. I mean, yeah, like, I understand for, like, the safety purposes, but they probably should have had, like, something. But I also don't know the schematics or anything about rock climbing, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, but she would get mad the next day, too. Would she get mad the next day? Oh, if they went without her. That's true. I don't know. You could also argue that she got upset whether or not they went the same day or another day. I mean, that's true. I just feel like you should probably, like, just not do it the first time around. They wanted to include her and wanted to hang out later. It's just, I don't know. And they tried to include her. They did try to include her. I, I don't know. I just stand by, like, they could just do it another day. Maybe even just mention like, hey, we're we, we can just do this another day, friends. Sorry, other friend. Which, I mean, I guess that would end up being a different situation then. It's just, I don't know. Well, friends from out of town were in and wanted to do it. Yeah, I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna stick with it, even though, yeah, I mean, it does suck. Like, if that, if the, it was the case where they were like, oh, let's just do it another time or something, or the friend wasn't going to be accommodating about it regardless, like, there's that too. I don't know. I mean, they did try to include her. I just think it would have been the better move to just do something else. But I mean, if the friends wanted to do it, is that the only thing that the friends wanted to do in town? I mean, I can get the I can get the hype of like it's new in town. Everybody's coming on in, like and stuff like that. It's just I don't know. Sometimes you got to take the L for the squad, knowing your squad will do what you want next time. I'm, gonna, I'm sticking with I'm gonna stick with yes. I'm gonna stick with yes. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm going with, you're the asshole. If I'm understanding you first, you guys are already out together and when you decided to try it. You could have gone and done something else that you found out oh, one friend would be excluded and gone rock climbing on a different day without her. It's not like this was her, a dedicated trip for the purpose of rock climbing. And you really expected her to sit around alone and wait for you guys to finish? For real? That's pretty clear how little you value that friend. I wrote it as a dedicated outing for that activity that there's this new rock climbing center that just opened up in the mall. My group of friends were in town and I suggested we go try it. However, when we got there, I still say they were the asshole for not choosing another activity, but also if the person knows they are overweight and knew what the activity was, they had to have known to check in advance to make sure their situation wouldn't be a problem. I don't know. It, I don't know any, like, I didn't even know that there could be a weight limit for rock climbing, TBH. And they're teenagers too. Yeah, you gotta tough it up for the greater good for your friend's happiness. 
were they expecting her to just be okay with like i just don't feel like all of the friends of her are gonna like they would have rather like i don't know it just it just doesn't it, it doesn't it doesn't give me like i don't know i'm pretty indifferent to this but both options are, are, i opinions are valid i think personally yeah I just feel bad for the friend, even if she would have brought it up later. I don't know. I'm sticking with yeah. I'm gonna stick with yeah, you're the asshole. 